Hello everybody, my name is Art and I'm the hardware guy for over 10 years and right now more and more it's a laminate floor instead of the hardwood floor LVT it's a future I think it's because it's easier more durable and but it's complicated it's really easy to install it a lot of people know how to install laminate because click together but it's way more complicated when it's need to be repaired done I tried to watch some video on YouTube and some of them pretty good some of them not so specifically for my customer when we did down the floor sometimes they call me and ask how to replace First of all, it's for them or everybody else who wants to know how to fix laminate. I'm gonna show a few uh, points how to uh, fix light scratch, light dent, and then general how to replace the board. So, I do, like I said, we're doing uh, like 100, uh, 100 times a year I do these repairs. So, the repair can be done in like 20 minutes to replace the board, and it's possible to replace to any floor in a spot in the house, easy to replace without to remove the entire floor. So what I'm trying, first of all, what do I need to replace or fix the scratch or if it's a little dent like this, first of all, you can go in any Home Depot, Lowe's or even Amazon and try to buy some just regular wood putty. Right now it's a soft, but when you add it, it's gonna be like hard like a rock later. And if you're not picky to the floor and just wanna cover dent like this, the putty like this is gonna be enough. All you've done is uh, just cover the holes. And like right now I don't have an exactly match color to this floor. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna match a little bit lighter and darker color. And usually, if you don't know exactly color, it's way better to buy some one-tone darker uh, pottier than the floor. Lighter, gonna be more visible than the darker. So, like you can see, just potty wipe, and it's like if you're standing up, you almost don't see the. And as soon as it's harder, it's good enough. If it's under the table or something, it's a good enough. So it's a first way to fix the dent. Second one, you can use the some like wax, they call it wax. You can buy the set for $10 or so on uh, Amazon, I guess, or somewhere else. So with this stuff, you just need to like fill the holes, trying to find the best matching color. And you just do like this, back and forth. Uh, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do is trying to find some better options so what are you doing back and forth just fill it up um, the holes with the wax um, I don't have exact color as well right here so that's why I'm trying with a different one to match the texture of the floor so basically somehow like this with a finger so as soon as you fill it up the whole hole remove it with a knife sharp knife like this and as well it's gonna stay there forever and if you're not that picky it's gonna be more than enough sometimes we feel, feel it before the customer buy a house and they never notice it basically just like this and if you're from the standing position almost not, not noticeable so what's the next next one where's my blade ah okay right here so the more standard issue is uh, scratches. I know from the if uh, you have scratches something like this, I can scratch this board because I'm gonna replace it because it's a defect on the board. So that's what I just doing for learning purpose. If you have scratches like this, the fastest and easiest way go Home Depot three bucks around three dollar. You can buy like old English stuff. And basically what are you doing? Because when you have light scratches around the specifically the more often it's an entryway, kitchen, around the chair, table. So what are you doing? Like scratches like this. Most of it it's a scratch on a clear coat or something. So what do you do? Just to wipe it with the old English stuff like this. And as you can see, it's a cover a lot of scratches. Also, it's gonna give a little bit smooth 
surface, protect the floor from the later scratches. So easy like this. Just wipe it and you will see how much it's covered. It's like a car. With the scratches, when they polish it, it's same effect. Just don't go probably one board, just try to go a little bit bigger area. So if you just do one board, it's gonna be like more shiny. That's why I try to go a little bit bigger area to hide the line. So this is about how you can easily fix little scratches fast without specific tools. Anybody can do it before selling the house or just make your floor looks better. But when we have a big issue like this with the floor, it's a, it was defective board in the beginning. What do you need? You need the skill saw for sure. Uh, you need hot glue gun. I use a commercial hot glue gun. You can use uh, any type of hot glue gun, even for craft little one. And I have this hammer, but a lot of people might have different with a cheap style. It's a specific hard wood gun. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna cut it off this board at the beginning. So how we do it? First of all, we're gonna adjust the blade right by the thickness of your floor. So you take the skill saw and set it up so you don't cut too much. You don't wanna cut the whole plywood. Then we're gonna do three cuts. Let's do it. So it's gonna be a little bit loud, but I'm gonna try to make it fast. So I'm gonna cut it. cuts because the floor usually has one side of the new board has this lip and I don't know which side of this board has this lip basically if I do just one cut and start removing the floor this lip can damage the previous board and I don't know what it is right here or right here this means I do two cuts to just easily remove this piece right there right there then I'm gonna slide this piece right here so yeah this way was right there so if i try to remove it right now i might damage this board that's why i need to slide it like this and then just to easily remove like this okay what's the next i'm gonna do i'm gonna prep this board to install it back i'm gonna cover rest of the part, rest of the stuff, so wipe it. To able to install it, I, I need to remove this little lip. I'm gonna keep it this big side and I need to remove this one. You can remove it with table saw or I just do, if I have just one board need to be replaced, I just do it with my knife. By the angle, remove it all the way down easy most of most of the floor it's cut easily if it's a big 12 mil material this is an 8 millimeter material so it's easy to cut off this means I don't, I don't need the table saw for it man it's a little bit hot right here hey can you open the door it's hot I need fresh air Alright guys, so I removed the side, I'm gonna remove this side as well because I'm not able to install with this big lip. If, if, I don't have nothing right here because it's a click on top, if you have another nosing right here you need to remove it as well. So very important, 
to remove, do you guys see these little things right there? The rest of the lock, you need to remove it. Why? Because we need to space for the hot glue. A lot of people don't remove these little things and then when they apply hot glue, they increase the height of the board and then board sticking out. So you need to remove these little things to let the space for hot glue gun and wood glue. And I recommend to try and, uh, to do this re uh, repair this board right on the middle of the uh, traffic area. Try to do it in a closet if you do it first time. Try to do it in a closet somewhere. So if you fail first time, nobody gonna judge you for it. If you're already an experienced guy, maybe you can get some quality information out of it. So my board prepared. Right now I'm gonna see if it's fit the space that we make. Sometimes the new board might not fit. So this means I'm just gonna see if it's fit the space that we... Okay, it's fit, but we have a little gap right here. See, the, that's what happens sometimes. Because the uh, new board is drier and this floor has already been on the floor it can get some moisture this means it can be tighter or the space sometimes not fit so what i'm gonna do i just gonna see like try to slide oh no try to slide this board before end of the wall we have just two boards if it's in the middle of the floor and you need to slide too much better to just cover the gap with some of the putty wood putty and just keep it instead of the move the whole floor so next what do we do I got a wood glue before we just do it with the hot glue gun but it's possible but after the year or something hot glue gun cracking and floor start like unclick. So right now we start doing mixing the wood glue like this. With a, a little bit, yeah, add a little bit on the edge. So, and we do hot glue. Hot glue gun, gonna hold it immediately and ready to walk, walk right away. And the wood glue gonna keep it there forever. So not much, just a little bit. Don't do too much because then your board will stick it out. All right, like this, like this. And make sure you have a hot glue on the corner. Hot glue on the corner. And then we put a board back and then just perfectly stack it and just hold it probably for like depends on the hot glue my glue it's uh, like 10 seconds or 30 seconds and it's gonna be that's it just make sure the corner hold the corner and somewhere in the middle like this basically and then I'm gonna slide it a little bit more. Alright, and adjust this. Okay guys, try to show it. As you can see, without any cutting the video, the repair was done like 12-15 minutes, even with some additional stuff. And uh, doesn't look professionally recorded but professionally installed we do it a bunch of time and if i can do it everybody can do it thank you for watching if you have any question and you think this video was 
while ago if you want to know how to install the floor in real life not like a rest of the video on youtube and you need to click it like real people who do it for life how we install the floor let me know maybe we're gonna do another video thank you bye have fun